good morning i am dr yavana rani i am the professor from deshan science department jain university bangalore uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, the management of ramanujam college for providing me this opportunity to talk in front of you so thank you so much uh, for being uh, this a guest for this uh, lecture today so uh, my topic today is about the recent trends in decision sciences particularly about the research so recent research trends in decision sciences so here uh, you know this is a buzzword nowadays um, like uh, you know everywhere we talk about decision science a data analyst data science business analyst data engineering big data so these are all the buzzwords that we hear nowadays right so we face numerous decisions in life and business the rules of thumb intuition tradition and even simple financial analysis are often no longer sufficient for addressing any common decisions like suppose if you want to uh, in a production department whether they want to make a decision whether they have to make their own product or buy the product from outside that's the raw materials so facility site selection where we have to put our own uh, production department on the process redesign so all these things the intuition and tradition it won't help you to make some decisions so in general uh, the forces of competition are imposing a need for more effective decision making at all levels in organizations so nowadays uh, what the data analysts do uh, they uh, provide the quantitative support for the decision makers in all areas so uh, in that case we can use the computers to analyze the potential outcomes of decision alternatives so here you know that the decision analyst and the decision scientist they work together to make come out with an effective decision so here the decision analyst provide the quantitative support for the decision makers in all the areas like including the engineers analyst and planning officers any public agencies uh, project management consultants manufacturing process planners and financial and economic analyst the experts supporting the um technological diagnosis and so on and on so at that time we need the decision analyst has to support the decision makers in order to come out with the effective decision so you know the spreadsheets or the tool of choice for today's managers uh you know this um, spreadsheets like uh, uh, i hope you know the spreadsheets uh, excel right excel is one of the spreadsheet so that is an effective tool and a very simple tool where the managers use today for making decisions so it's just playing with the data so the managers they are not expert in data analysis but they have to dig the information what they need from the data analyst so here the data analyst and the data scientist should work to the, together to come out with an effective decision making so what is a management science now what's management science so it's otherwise called a decision science management science is otherwise called a decision science like so it's a field of study that uses computers obviously we need computers to make all the analysis uh, because we are, we are dealing with a very uh, huge amount of data you know you have heard about the big data right so nowadays the big data comes in so what is a big data big data it means that uh, the combination of uh, uh, like uh, the thousands and the millions of data might not be in thousands millions of data so in order to analyze the data we need definitely uh, the computers and obviously the statistics that plays a major role and mathematics to solve the business problems so management science is otherwise called as operations research or decision science 
So oh, we all know that uh, this uh, modeling for decision making uh, is very important. So modeling for decision making involves two distinct parties. One is the decision maker and the other one is a model builder. The model builder is called the decision analyst or we can say the data analyst and the decision maker is called uh, the who digs the data from the decision analyst. Therefore, the analyst must be equipped with more than a set of analytical methods when compared to the decision makers. Next slide. So what are the companies is using the decision science? There are a lot of companies uh, that use decision science. Uh, you know that uh, even the US companies uh, some five years uh, before they were not ready to use the data. Simply the um, uh, top management, uh, what they do is, or the uh, top executive of an, uh, any company, what they do is based on their intuition or based on their experience, they make decisions. And that was not an effective method to come out or to uh, make any transformation nowadays. So what they did is they rely on data. So they rely on data. The companies, these are some of the companies uh, which use the data uh, decision science is Sabri Decision Technologies, uh, all the airline reservation systems. They use uh, this decision science, or we say that uh, data science, uh, Signet Bank, GE Capital, uh, Providian, Capital One, Credit Card and Financial Management, Freight Transportation, Ernst & Eng, Ernst & Eng, McKinsey, all our research agencies, Accenture consultants. And you know that business re-engineering companies and forecasting companies, they also use the data science. Research is always helpful at every point in the planning process. So from market and competitor analysis to identify the size of your market, the trends in your industry and who the main competitors are and what is their position. So all these can be found out only through research and playing with the data. So this is to analyzing the buying behavior and learning what customers need to be able to buy from you. So this is a role of uh, uh, research in decision making. So in these areas, uh, this data plays a major role in order to make an effective decisions. So data scientist from data analysis in terms of the decision making process, they frame data analysis, data scientist. They are looking at the various ways of analyzing data such as uh, it relates to a specific business question posed by the stakeholders. Other name for this role may include an analytics or analyst or applied analytics we can say. So, but there is always a difference between the data science and decision science. So I'll tell you how it differs. So all decisions when they are personal or public or business related or based on the decision makers beliefs and values. So you know that the companies like Netflix, uh, even Ola, Uber, uh, they all use this data to uh, come out with an effective decisions. So science can and should help the decision makers by shaping their beliefs. So uh, this is the decision science process. Uh, you can see the identify the decision situation and understand the objectives of the situation. You know that uh, what decision has to be made Okay, that you should know. But there are many alternatives. You know that you know the number of decisions and you, you have to understand the objective of your company and you have many alternatives also. You know that. So you have to identify alternatives to come out with the best alternative. So decision making is nothing but you're taking the best alternatives, right? So identify the decision situation and understand the objective of your problem or of your company, anything you have to 
understand the core objective and identify the various alternatives you have to identify it number it okay and decompose and model the problem so you have to frame a, um, a model for that so nowadays uh, uh, the data analyst uh, they come out with many models uh, with the help of the computers they work uh, so decompose the all the alternatives and you have to model the problem and by uh, making effective data analysis analysis we have to choose the best alternative and a sensitivity analysis has to be done then if further analysis is needed then go for the again uh, you have to run over the problem identify the alternatives if not then the final decision has to be made so a data modeling here decompose and model the problem it's nothing but uh, it's a process of producing a descriptive diagram of relationship between the various types of information that ought to be stored in a database so one of the goals of data modeling is to create most efficient method of storing the information while still providing for complete access and reporting it's called the data modeling um i'll i'll just uh, explain you uh, what actually the decision making element should have so it should answer for what who when and how so what uh, means that the strategic decisions the tra tactical decisions or the operational decisions and whom the decision making elements to whom whether it should be for an individual or for the collective so different and when it has to be done proactive or provoked and how it, it should be done it the decision making should be done whether it should be on information based or whether it should be on the intuitive based so as i told you even the us companies they make decisions intuitively so different decision making mechanism emerge based on the combination of options around each of the four elements like what how when and who so you can see this uh, data science is used extensively in all the industries you can see in the banking industry loan portfolio optimization so they also see uh, suppose uh, if you want to find a fraudulent um, transaction and if you want to uh, decide upon whether the loan can be given to a particular individual so they use this data science so they use the data to uh, find out whether the loan can be provided to a particular individual or not okay so credit card management manufacturing sector quality control okay, quality control they use the pareto chart analysis pareto chart that's 80 20 rule it, that is you mainly used for this this is one of the decision science tool decision making uh, tool it is the pareto chart okay production scheduling so or comes here operations research in entertainment industry like you can see the netflix netflix they use the data they just uh, find out the uh, number of people viewing a which program and what is the frequency of visiting the site everything will be uh, recorded in the cloud and based on the data they just make an analysis and they make uh, which is the most um, uh, likely uh, show in the um, netflix and demand forecasting crowd control queuing and crowd control you know uh, in the uh, railway reservation system uh, queuing system queuing uh, how the you know that what is the process uh, happens when we book the ticket so everything is based on the data okay airline and travel industry ticket reservations i talked about the ticket reservations in the um, uh, yeah, railways airplane maintenance marketing market research Uh, in some consulting firms also they need a data analyst okay they get the ideas from the data analyst to make the decisions consumer preferences consumer preferences uh, if you if you uh, you know if you take the flipkart or uh, the amazon 
uh, all the data. So what is a, a, a preference by, from the car consumers? What is the preference? And all the data will be recorded in the cloud. So what is the frequency of visit to the site? And what is the most preferable item? Everything will be recorded. So based on that, we get an, um, even we get an updates in our FB, right? Suppose if you are opening a Flipkart and you're watching, uh, uh, just you're just browsing and you're just finding some uh, preferences, you're finding some products in the Flipkart. Uh, obviously the next minute, if you open your Facebook page, you can see the uh, all the products that you looked in Flipkart will be displayed in your FB page. How it happens is everything is because of this cloud data, big data analysis, everything. So they have the uh, reach and every record of the data of each and every consumer. So they link and they analyze the data and finally they make a decision out of that. So next computer science, software development, and um, you know that uh, everywhere this uh, uh, data science has been used extensively. So now we'll see what is a difference uh, between the data science versus decision science. As I told you that data science, here we turn the data into a data products. That's all. In data science, the data science, uh, they should be, the data science uh, experts should be well in analyzing the data. So it's a science which uses a computer science, statistics, machine learning, visualization, and computer, human computer interactions. And here, what we do is, you, again, we uh, collect the data, integrate the data, analyze, visualize, interact with the data to create a data products, that's all. So uh, we turn the data into a data products. It means that we play with the data and uh, from the large uh, luminous amount of data, we just convert the data into some information. That's all in the data science. And uh, one a data analyst should be expert in all the uh, techniques, methods in the case of data science, but that is not required in the case of decision science. So the decision science is an application of a complex of quantitative techniques to make the decision making process. So its purpose is to apply the data-driven insights in combination with elements of cognitive science to policy planning and development. As I told you, from the data products, you have to dig out the uh, related information or uh, the needed information to make a, uh, policies and decisions. So that's the difference between the uh, data science and the decision science here. 